And that thing of interest this week was a, an historical moment for traders, actually, as we saw the collapse of one of the biggest and oldest trades in the market. And that trade was the spread between the UK listed version of BHP versus the ASX listed version of BHP. Now this dual listing was created for one reason, um, and that was the most effective way to execute the merger of Australia's BHP Limited and the UK's Billiton back in 2001. Now, ever since this dual listed structure came into being, hedge funds and prop traders have had bet big on the spread between the London listed BHP, PLC price, and the ASX listed limited price. And that spread traded, um, saw the, the UK leg actually trade at a three to 5% discount or three to 25% discount rather over 20 years. We actually think the PLC leg traded at a premium at some point over those 21 years. And the spread traded dramatically over the years as it became a very crowded trade. Um, the, the Australian dollar influenced it. And then in times of stress that the prop desks would quickly unwind that trade um, and wind it back totally. And it was a trade, it was traded in massive volume. It was legged on at the ASX closed, the UK opening, the US ADR opening or close, an investment um, bank prop desk traded late at night or early in the morning with many prop desks having this trade on hundreds of millions of dollars in terms of long one leg and short the other. And they constantly offer that back into hedge funds as a trade. Here's a $200 million spread at a 20% discount. Do you want to buy that spread? And that spread's still being traded today in terms of Rio Tinto, for example. So the ASX version always traded a premium because of the franking credits and because it was such a large part of the index here in Australia. Some fund managers in those days, over the last 20 years, actually couldn't buy overseas stocks. So they would have to own the BHP listed version here rather than the cheaper version in the UK. And of course, because of its structure, it was a spread that would never collapse. The UK leg was never fungible, which meant it could never convert into the ASX equivalent until this week. And over the last 20 years, BHP's board and a loyal bang, band of investment bankers have looked into ways of winding up that trade or unifying that spread. And they've been lobbied and pressured by hedge funds over the years who have wanted to see this spread collapse because they've had it on hundreds of millions of dollars at a time. And finally, this week, BHP's Mike Henry pulled the trigger. And what will happen now is the fast money will be buying the BHP UK PLC leg at a 20 odd percent discount to BHP here, and then swapping those PLC uh, shares now into limited shares in Australia when the deal completes. So there's your lesson for the day. It was a big trade at the time.